Um, so exactly what information did these hackers ultimately get? Let's get the read right now on all of this with David Kennedy, the cybersecurity expert. David, good to have you. Neil, thanks for having me on. Good to see you again. Same here. What do they have in their hot little hands? Well, this is a hard one because they had access since 2014. That's four years, and that's a half a billion records, right? And so, you know, if I had access to a network for a couple of weeks, I could usually have access to pretty much the entire infrastructure and everything that they do. Uh, and this is this is specifically contained to the reservation system, but it seems like a lot of the information that's coming out uh, shows that this is a very early stage of investigation. And as we saw with Facebook and Yahoo and a lot of the other ones, a lot of the other data breaches that we've seen over the past few years, including Target, Jimmy John's, Home Depot, um, that these have a tendency of growing much, much larger. Uh, so if they've had access since 2014, uh, it could have been a lot more systems that, that touched uh, the Starwood hotels and even possibly to, to the Marriott locations. Uh, so, you know, right now it's, it's, it's data bursts, it's, uh, you know, home addresses, your names. The, the, the big piece here is if you look at the target breach, was, which was uh, 28.2 million credit cards, uh, they're seeing a half a billion people were impacted by this and that they can't rule out that they had access to the decryption keys. Uh, this could be larger than the target breach that we saw as far as credit card reissuance. The, the one point I want to point out here, though, is that we haven't seen any of this information being sold on the black market yet, and that is very, very unusual. Um, I wonder, though, I mean, since this also involved compromised passport data, uh, who's to say that some nefarious elements haven't gotten that and are flying around to their heart's content? You know, Neil, that's, that's the weird part about all of this, is that when we see a breach like this, I mean, that information is very quickly put up on the underground market and sold into different, in, into different batches to make money off of this. And if they've been breached since 2014 and we haven't had any notifications for this, uh, we don't know exactly who did it, but it doesn't appear to be organized crime or they're using methods that we haven't been able to detect before. Uh, so you talk about reservation information, where you stay at, your reservation history, your preferences of, of different locations and when you're staying at those. Uh, we could be looking at a lot of different scenarios here for, for who wanted to have access to this data or somebody on the inside uh, selling this information. We know that the FBI is involved. So there's a lot of, a lot of variables to this right now that uh, are pretty alarming. All right. Thank you very much, my friend. It's good catching up with you, even under these Thanks, circumstances, Neil, it seems. Uh, <laughs> I feel like it's Kennedy. always an emergency. I know. I know. <laughs>